but are crossing guards in the hospital after being hit by a car. The driver, by the way, didn't stop immediately. Now he's under arrest. Let's go to Fox 13's Josh Cassio, live at the intersection of Belcher and Catalina, where this happened. Uh, first things first, Josh, the crossing guard, how are they doing? Yeah, Mark, Clearwater police tell me he is being treated at Morton Plant Hospital as we speak for those injuries. Thankfully, I'm told the injuries are considered to be non-life-threatening, which is really good news. This could have been so much worse. It happened right here behind me around 4.30 in the afternoon. Clearwater police say 78-year-old Ernest Camus was helping students cross the road uh, Catalina Drive here near Oak Grove Middle School when he was hit by that car that just kept on going. In fact, I'm told he was lifted onto the hood and then tossed into the roadway. Fortunately, a few hundred feet later, some good Samaritans pinned that other driver in at Belcher and Nursery, so he didn't get very far. Police say that person is 68-year-old Gregory Olson of Clearwater. That's his Honda there. He's facing several charges tonight, including leaving the scene of an accident involving serious injury and driving with a suspended license. Here's what one witness told us who came out and saw some of the aftermath of this crash. I thought he was dead. So uh, somebody ran to him and put something under his head, and like he got a little bit comfortable. Then later on, he started moving his hand. I felt good after that, yeah. you know. I thought, thank God for that. Olson tonight is headed for the Pinellas County Jail. As for the crossing guard, again, thankfully, injury said to be non life threatening. I'm told he's been on the job for about three years, so hopefully, he can uh, be treated quickly and recover and get back out here to help these kids cross the street here uh, near Belcher Road. Mark, for back sure. to you. So, he's going to be okay. Josh Cassier live tonight in Clearwater. Thanks.